and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple airplane icon. Press Ctrl R if you can't see rulers. When you can see them you can drag this guide out of there. And now we we'll use the rectangle tool. We need three elements in total. We can reposition it later on anyway, so don't worry too much about it. But we need something like this to start. Let me zoom in. I select it all. I go to path and object to path. So now if I activate the notes tool, you can see all of these notes. And I can reposition them. When I hold control while repositioning, they're going to snap into the vertical axis. And now I'll reposition and transform them a little bit using the selection tool. I don't want to have this, let's say, diagonal line for the big element. Maybe I'll deactivate the snapping for now. Something like this might work. I re enable the snapping. Now I select the big element, path, path effect, click on a plus sign, and we need the corners effect. Click on it and use the notes tool once more to create this curve. I select it all, Ctrl A, then Ctrl D to copy, and I flip it. Ah, but that was a little bit too big. It looks more like a drone. So let me delete this part and I transform this big element, make it a bit smaller. So you have to play a little bit around with it until you've got what you want. When you've got what you want, select it all and then union. Now it's one element. I rotate it so that I click on it and I'll control. Now let us create a background. I make it a circle and I hold control. I want to create this. I'll put it to the bottom and I make it red for now. Let me select it all, object, align and distribute and I align it. Ah, uh, but it doesn't look good, so I'll reposition it manually. And now I drag these diagonal guides out of there. And I think that's fine. I'll use the busy tool. Ah, uh, but let me check right here. Uh, let me press Ctrl Z until I've arrived at this point. I also have to enable the snapping because here is another angle that should have a shadow. But these three guides in total should be fine now. Just follow the guides. Close your shape. Let me give it a different color so that you can see properly. I hold shift and click on a circle so this is what I've got selected. And then I go to path and use division. And now I've got two elements right here and I can give them different colors. And that's about it. Let me delete all the guides under edit. And if you want to export it, it's a good idea to press Ctrl A and then Ctrl G to group it all. And this is how you can create such an airplane icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.